So we're in a Zoom with Miley. She's in the waiting room, right? We started the Zoom. We're talking to Charlie Puth, by the way. So we're yes, in a hi. Zoom. Miley's in the waiting room, and this is me. Oh, God, I think I need, like, mouth surgery. My mouth is off. And then the label comes on. Yeah, guys, Miley's trying to get in. Can you let her in? And it was just me playing with my mouth to the camera. As she's waiting oh. in the waiting room. Well, you want the record played or not? <laughs> <laughs> wait, and, wait your turn to come in. Exactly. That's what I'll tell them all next time. How are you, buddy? Charlie, how are you doing? I'm good. I, You know, I, I, made, a, I made a protein shake. I can't cook, but I can make a good little vegan uh, protein shake. Not that I'm vegan, but I, I just, I don't know. It makes me feel lighter and nicer on my feet. Have you started watching your, I mean, your health is great, but have you tried to do something else in this new year? Um, <laughs> in this new year? Um, just, no, I, I got Corona on, um, or what do we call it now? We call it Omicron. I got it uh, in the beginning of December. So I was uh, kind of just watching Christmas movies, not working on. So all that hard work I did kind of, it's amazing how fast you can lose weight, but I'm, I'm, I'm feeling good now. Got our guy, John, John's new, John Camucci just joined our show. He had COVID oh, like on Christmas, right? Yeah. On Christmas, the week leading up to it. And similarly, I'm, I'm a skinny guy and I lost almost 10 pounds just by getting that. Crazy. Yeah. The, the, the less popular Mariah Carey song, COVID on Christmas. Right. 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 <laughs> So you lost 10 pounds in that? Yeah, isn't that crazy? Almost so 10 pounds. If I want to get down to my goal, I've got to get COVID like five times. Don't don't wish right? that for yourself. No, I don't. There's other ways. Saying, you know. That is a wild workout plan, Valentine. I know. I'm crazy <laughs> like that. Um, the song's good. We just played it a second ago. It's really good. Congratulations. <laughs> what are you laughing at? No, it is. <laughs> it's just it's just funny when you do interviews with your friends, because I consider you a, a good yeah. friend. We've I've been on your show like many times before, like from, I've known you for like five years. It's it used to be like when we were in person, it used to be this uh, hey, so Charlie's Charlie's this artist, he has this song, it's coming out, and now it's hey man, the song's good. <laughs> <laughs> we we like it um we, what you know just whatever what do you want to say light switch is great man we're flipping it up it's a go yes. no we listen to it all together in the room which is kind of fun because you know you like to hear a song for the first time together um right. and it's just fun it's great i don't think you're changing the world or anything but it's a fun song. <laughs> oh God, I lost him. i'm sorry <laughs> no i'm i'm still here i you know i really um I really, and I agree with you. The song actually sounded way different uh, in the in the very beginning. It was, uh, how could I turn my mind off? Oh, I wish I had a light switch to just turn my my crazy musical mind off. And it sounded really emo and depressing. Yeah. Um, but I was like, you know what? People have been cooped up in their homes for so many years now. I Let's make them dance with 184 BPM. Let's make Valentine dance. Let's make everybody dance with a ridiculous bpm beats per minute tempo it's the fastest song that you're playing thanks for playing it by the way and yeah explain that to people for a second though the beats per minute because i had heard that too my friend tim was telling me this will be the fastest song on the radio on my fm and all the other stations yeah. too they're playing it yeah it, it's meaning like just what it sounds like the it's a it's 184 so it's it's way fast it's a good workout joint and it's fast. It's way faster than your heart speed. And it's just, it's again, almost too fast, but just right. And it actually right. slows down right before the chorus hits. I've always liked you, Charlie. Like every time you've come in here, you've always been just so sweet and so charming and so talented, but I have fallen in love with you. Thanks to TikTok. Oh, thank you. I, I feel that. like the way you like respond to your fans, the way you do at these videos, the way you just take a simple sound and you just create something. I just, I'm obsessed with you on TikTok. Well, I, you know, I've never, I never thought that this many people would be, uh, number one, anticipating a song for me that I feel like that that's pretty awesome. And number two, I, I, I never thought that people would care so much about how a song is made. I thought that was just something that I discussed with people like close to me or myself, a lot of talking to myself when I make mm -hmm. these songs. I thought, I never thought that videos would go viral of me layering pianos and drums and that's, or coming up with a, a, a sound. I wanted to make light switch came about from me wanting to put a sound and it being the title of the song and someone made it someone, you know, then come the inappropriate jokes and 
sexualizing me <laughs> on online and uh, making the light switch look like something else when it's flicked up. You know, Valentine. Wait a minute. I'm sorry. I've seen I those. Didn't... I've seen yeah. those You've videos seen as those? well. Yeah. I'm not seen... talking about those, though. <laughs> well, you, you love them on TikTok. I haven't seen any of these videos. People were making the light switch go up, be representative of something else. Somebody with a 3D printer... Uh, I, I I don't even need to finish it. Just use your imagination. They, just, when they, you said 3D <laughs> printer, because I was going to say, and no offense, Charlie, <laughs> but I mean, a light switch is all about, you know, an inch in length. And yeah, so I was hoping I, that something else was being. <laughs> well, I mean, I was I was going to make a really mean joke right now, but let's just, just use your imagination or simply look down. I have a sound for you. Let me know if you've used this already, because I know people were submitting sounds for a long time for you to use. Okay. Right. Right. <laughs> oh my God. And this shouldn't be this complicated. <laughs> no, here, hold on. Just to bring into the camera. Right, ready? Here it comes. Here it is. Uh, uh, is that a Purell dispenser? Yeah. We had this pre COVID. This has yeah. always been in our studio. It, it looks like a parking meter. For <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. so big. Dude, we stole it from a hospital. <laughs> Great. I'm sure they don't need that. No, um, no, no. We had a shift. <laughs> <laughs> Great. I no, I've never used a uh, uh, a Purell dispenser or a hand sanitizer station, but it's not a bad idea. I like the note that the motorized engine was giving off. You know, in light switch there is a uh, a breath, and I won't explain where I got it from, but I recorded it with my phone and I put it under the hi hat, and you know, it's definitely in the song you can't really hear it but it's in there added a lot so uh, we love weird noises in interesting Ooh, okay i don't know where this breath is from do you want to follow up on that chill no no i'm, I'm good i want to know what your voice <laughs> memos look like is it just all sounds yeah. and all different ideas throughout your entire phone well i'll here let me let me show you I, first time well, he came I, in he did this for us by the way oh really he was playing stuff off of his voice notes the very first time he came in so this is me coming up with the idea for light switch before I turned my phone camera on and made a TikTok. This is the, let's see. Light switch in my head today, my phone. You'll be able to hear it on the switch microphone. To turn off all the dots in my head. So I'm basically like saying light switch, turn off all the heads, the, the, like this. And it would turn into like a completely different song, but I've been making stupid little voice notes since I met with you for the first time of my career. So you really can't turn off that musical side of your mind then. It's just always going during conversations throughout your day. There's always something to make music out of. And if even if I have writer's block and I'm hitting my head against the desk, I'll, you know, uh, record the note that my head is hitting the desk and the way it hits the room, the reverb. There's always, God, so there's always something. Okay. I think... I think I'm just like you. I want you to look. This is 429, 2012. I'm so scared to hear what this is. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> right? Yeah. Here we go. 2012. I make notes as well. Here it is. When tears are in your eyes, I'll dry them all. Little off key. I'm on your side. Oh, when times get rough. And friends just can't. Uh -oh. God. Charlie's yeah. face right are, now looks like he's in pain. Not even Charlie are, can turn that into a song. Are, are, are you singing in a men's bathroom? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> the one here just, at the station. I, I'm, I'm picturing all the heads slowly just coming out of the porta potty toilets and just like looking yeah. at you. Who's singing With like this? mad applause, right? People going nuts. Like Simon and Garfield nope. pop out or something. I don't know. It's a thing nope. here. We in the women's restroom can hear Val singing because we it shares a wall. People know when Val's in the bathroom because he's singing at the top of his lungs. It's a thing here. That's a beautiful song, but why did you sing Bridge Over Troubled Water? Because I had just done The Impossible Dream just before that. <laughs> so I'm very much like a show tune. He's choking on his protein drink. <laughs> show tune guy. And, you know, when you're in a bathroom, you know, you get any place with an echo chamber and that just pops and brings it to life. And, and that's what people want. You give them what they want. I, I love how that was recorded in 2012. It said it on the voice notes, 2012. <laughs> Never and the best, Yeah, the best part, I feel it's necessary to still have yeah. it on my voice notes. <laughs> just in case we talk to Charlie about voice notes and what's on your voice notes, you know? I know. My God. Um, 
Oh, some other stuff. So you worked with Elton John. Is that out? Yes. Yeah, the that's out. That was, that, yeah, that was, <clears throat> you know, what's crazy is that I found out, I, first of all, I told Elton that he had to make an album and he made yeah. an album because of our song, which is really cool. And I also found out that we live two doors down from each other. I never thought that I would live two doors down from Elton John. That was a super random, weird uh, thing to happen. He told me his address and I was like, I'm walking over. Dude, how did you not know Elton John was two doors away from you? I had no idea. I'm more impressed with um, my real estate brain. I, I, I happened into some interesting real estate. Yeah, that's big. Good for you. That's crazy. <laughs> One of the other things uh, we got to throw at you here, and, and with all due respect, so answer what you want, because, you know, this is coming up during interviews and stuff like that. Sure. I love how Billy Eilish stepped in to defend you, to defend you. I think it's so cool, I, the Benny Blanco thing. It was so wild. Is I wasn't at all, because, you know, I'm busy talking to myself, making songs like a lunatic. Uh, somebody sent me that link, and I saw that. I'm like, that was nice of her, because I saw a couple Benny videos, and I just yeah. didn't. Honest. Real honest answers. I had no time to respond to them, but I yeah. was like, wow, someone's sticking up for me. I wonder who else sticks up for me. And then I Googled it and nobody else did. <laughs> so I was like, okay, Billy's enough. That's nice. Nice of her. Thanks, Billy. It was Billy's video <laughs> that when I saw that this yeah. entire time, I thought it was a joke. Same. I didn't know it was I, real. Everybody did. We all took it as a joke. Uh, I did too. I'm st I still don't know what the hell is going on. I, to yeah. me, it's still a joke, but I don't know, man. I'm just like, I, I, I came up with a song the other day. Like, I, I forgot what I had for lunch yesterday. I, like, I, 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 I really am that aloof to it all. Yeah. No, good for you. That's the way to treat it, too. Mm -hmm. It's weird. <laughs> we may never know the answer. Maybe one day you and Benny will sit down. He'll tell you why he was thinking that weird stuff. Uh, but I did love that she stepped in and defended you and stuff. Mm -hmm. Go, ever, Billy. She's awesome. Maybe she's done with Phineas and just wants to hang with you. I, you know, I, but you know, you know, Phineas is, so, have you ever heard his music? Phineas, yeah, his no, music? he's great. He is such a G when it comes to chord progressions. And like, he's almost like, I want him, I told him I want him to like write a classical piece of music and just put it out. Like he's that much of a genius. That right. Like he'll, he could write like a 15 minute piece of like flowy music and it could be actually like super special. Have you worked with either one of them before? Did I miss that? Phineas and I, <laughs> Excuse me, Spinius and I made a song a couple weeks before the pandemic, and we never finished it. So oh. the world will never hear it. The world will never hear it. No, we have to. How far in did you get? We got some melodies. We got the uh, the core of the song down. It was cool. It had um, it had, like strings in it or like pizzicato. It was very Phineas sound. Yeah. It was very cinematic. Um, but yeah, it was super cool just watching another producer. Uh, like their process of making sure. music. Very cool. Can I always wonder with you, and I'm not going to take up too much more of your time, but I always wonder, you know, because you do music on your own and you put it out and it's great. And we've got Light Switch. And then you produce other people and you help them and it's great. Do yeah. you ever feel like you're leaning one way or the other too far or too less? How can you keep both like wives happy, so to speak? Oh, that's just a good question. I, I, I you know, I, I wrote, and produced uh, Stay by Kid Leroy. That I do the same thing I told you that I never would. And I don't even know what genre that is. That's a combination of his personality against uh, some pretty chord changes with my drums. And I made it with uh, Blake Slack and Omar Fetty. And they just like, they, they, they have, they put their personality into it. They are both very musical as well. Mm -hmm. And it's, I don't even, the people ask me, what, what kind of song is this? And it's not a rock song. It's not a, pop song i, I mean right. i guess it's a pop song i don't know what it is so i whenever i make music i never think oh who is gonna sing this and what is, i just it's an opportunity to make something that no one's ever heard before gotcha i hear you dude come in are you vaxxed up do you want to come in the studio sometime i'm vaxxed up we can all make out i'm just kidding we can all like i'm i'm, I'm totally safe to Ew. be around hey i <laughs> noticed you have, I noticed you have <laughs> hold on hold on i, I couldn't hear you what'd you say charlie would say I, I, to I totally just noticed that you have Tabasco sauce next to your phone. Are, 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 is, are, you, uh, are you using, uh, are you taking advantage of this new uh, form of, are you trying to evade having a child? Oh, 
It's a great time to say thank you, Charlie Puth. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. Best of luck. We'll see you soon. Light uh, switch is out right now. I don't see any breakfast burrito. I'm wondering. <laughs> thank you, Charlie. <laughs> yeah.